Hey, what's up guys, this is DH here. Welcome to the lovely S3 shop, where today we're gonna to be showing you how to install our Ambush Series rear bumper for the Jeep Wrangler JK and JKU models. As you can see, everything's laid out and it's ready to go on. Like always, Cody and myself will be here to walk you through step by step on getting this thing knocked out. Let's do it. Before we get started, let's gather the following tools. Seven millimeter and 19 millimeter wrench or socket. T30 Torx bit, center punch tool, permanent marker, quarter inch drill bit, step drill bit, floor jack. We'll begin the installation process by removing your factory bumper, recovery hook, and rear receiver hitch. 2011 and older models may require drilling of the passenger side frame rail to match the holes on the driver's side. Using the provided drill template, place it against the outside of the frame with the arrow to the rear of the vehicle pointing upwards, aligning the oval shaped slot with the corresponding slot on the frame. With the drill template parallel to the frame, use it as a guide to mark the two holes on the frame. Center punch, then use a quarter inch drill bit to create two pilot holes, then expand those holes to three quarter inch using your step bit. To prep your bumper for installation, attach the S3 logo using two M4 nuts and washers with a seven millimeter socket or wrench. Be careful to not over tighten the small hardware. Mount the face plates bevel side out using the supplied stainless hardware and a T30 Torx bit. Insert driver and passenger side nut plates into the ends of the frame with each tab sticking out of the front slot. Now your S3 bumper is ready to install. We suggest using a floor jack to help support the bumper while you loosely thread the four M10 by 40 millimeter bolts and washers into the side nut plates. From underneath the vehicle, slide the two larger nut plates over the top of the frame cross member and into the cutouts of the bumper, centering the handle between each of the two bolt holes. Holding the nut plates in position, install the M12 by 110 bolts and washers. If your Jeep has a towing package, slide these two bolts through the provided trailer plug relocation bracket before threading into the nut plates. The bent side points down and toward the front of the vehicle. Now that the bumper is aligned to the body, tighten the full cross member bolts. Insert the trailer plug into the relocation bracket so the tabs fit the notches and hold it into place. Tighten all four M12 by 40 bolts located on either side of the frame using a 19 millimeter wrench. All right guys, it's as easy as that. We just finished up the install on our Ambush Series rear bumper for the Jeep Wrangler JK and JKU. Thanks for tuning in.